Hey, this is Jay, and I want to show you how to use one of the features in Outlaw. Just one of those little things that makes uh, your game development and your app development um, faster and easier. So I'm going to show you using an example with Moai SDK, but if you're a, a Corona user or ImpactJS or whatever framework you're using uh, in Outlaw, it works the same way. I'm just using Moai because uh, there's a kind of a built-in example ready to go here. So over here I have a product or an app called Rocket Lobster, and this is using the Rapa Nui library with Moai. And to do that, you need the Rapa Nui library in here. Well, there's a couple of different ways. Number one is you could just take the Rapa Nui SDK and drag it over in there. But I'm going to be doing some other apps using Rapa Nui, so I'm going to set this up as a library. And I'm going to uh, click Preferences up here in the toolbar and then go to libraries and I've got this list here and I'm going to take the Rapa Nui SDK because this is this folder is actually what is required um, to be to, to be imported into your app and I'm just going to take this whole folder here and drag it over here and now I have Rapa Nui SDK here's the location and I'm gonna change the name to just Rapa Nui easier to type and then over here this is how the uh, this is how it's supposed to be uh, put into your code. You're supposed to do a require as um, Rapa Nui-SDK, that's the name of that actual folder, and then slash Rapa Nui, and that's the name of the file that's inside that folder. Also, you may see it uh, put in some time as a dot, and the dot and the slash act in Lua exactly the same way. Basically, it's a folder separator. And because I normally use slashes on my Mac, I'm gonna go ahead with that. So now I have this set up in the library, and you can see that I've got other things up here in the library. A lot of these are just uh, files, but Rapa Nui is actually a folder with the file that we care about down in there. And so now I can go back over into here. And right up in here, instead of doing a require, since I know it's in the library, I'm gonna do uh, two hyphens and a pound sign, that's uh, the signal for outlaw to, that there's something special coming up. And then I'm going to type library and then the name of that I gave it, which was Rapa Nui. And that's all I have to do. Now when this is launched, all the files go into a sandbox and then from there, they're passed into the host uh, or the simulator in the case of Corona. So I have that folder actually right up here and there are no files in it at this point. So let's go ahead and uh, launch this. And there we go, we've got the Moai host up here and so the app is actually running. And if we look at the files that were copied over in there, here in our main.lua, let me do a quick view of that. And you can see that our library line was actually changed to what we need it to be. So as far as the amount of typing that, we, that that we saved. We didn't save a whole lot. I mean, we could just put a require line in here. But now the Rapa Nui framework or the Rapa Nui uh, library is in there for me to use anywhere. So anywhere in any of my other projects where I want to use the Rapa Nui library, this is the line I have to put it at the top. I don't have to drag and drop anything anymore because now that it's in the library that's inside preferences, uh, it can be used by any number of projects. 